Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Keandre Olivia, and I am back with a very surprising video today. I decided to film a mukbang, um, and I'm currently at Wendy's. Wendy's is not really a spot that I go to that much, but y'all, I was trying to make it to Chick-fil-A, which is my holy grail, and the traffic over here is so bad to where I felt that it was safer for me to just turn into Wendy's and call it a day and also make a video out of it so I'm gonna show y'all I'm just gonna sit here and chat and eat um and yeah we're just gonna go from there now I don't really know how to do a mukbang or what's the right way to do it um I'm just gonna eat and I'm gonna show y'all and I'm gonna try to keep the smacking at a minimum so what I got was the number, was it number four? Number four or number two. I got the Baconator and I always get my burgers plain and dry with cheese and bacon or whatever. Not, well, I'm not gonna say all the time. It depends on where it is. Um, like here, I'm really a fan of the Baconator so I just got it plain. Um, other way, otherwise, I recently literally just started getting pickles on my burgers. Um, I've tried it all the way, except without like mayo and mustard. So I've done like I, I've done grilled onions only, not fresh onions. <laughs> Excuse me. And um, I've done pickles, tomatoes, lettuce. And that's it. That's additional. So this is the burger. This is the package that it comes in. It actually said, oh, it don't say Baconator. I got a large fry, cause you know, your girl needs a large, okay? Do I look like I'm not a large? But yeah, I got a large fry. Look at those fries. They are actually super hot. I also got a four piece nugget regular not spicy I got one low cup of ranch and a very very tasty strawberry lemonade and then I also got a chocolate chip cookie so yeah let's dig in let's say grace Lori thank you for this food it's been prepared for the nourishment of my body I ask that you will bless this food and sanctify it and I thank you for the preparation and the provision in Jesus name I pray amen all right, y'all. So, I'm actually like, well, I'm not on my lunch break. I'm past my lunch break because the maintenance people came to my house right when I was going to leave for my lunch break. So, this is what the burger looks like. Oh, my God. Look. That bun is kind of buttery, toasted. There's what the burger looks like on the inside. Just dry. Mm. Okay. I can work with that. So, but yeah, y'all. The maintenance people had came to my house and I had to kind of wait around for them to be done. Um, and I wanted to add this on my last video with my anniversary vlog what actually happened when we returned home from our anniversary staycation. Um, so, we got home on Saturday afternoon and we walked in the house, we knew it was very hot in the house. And on the thermostat, it said that it was 81 degrees. So, and we, mind you, we did not touch our thermostat before we left the house. We just kept it running. We usually have it on 78. Um, but we walked in the house, it was 81 degrees and we hadn't touched it before we left. And we was like, okay, we're just gonna see what happens. We're gonna turn the AC up, um, get the cool running and see what happens. So, time flies. We're still sitting in there burning up. And 
the temperature in the house was not dropping. So, we had a ceiling fan going. I would say maybe an hour and a half went by. And it still was really hot in the house. Very uncomfortable. So, I called the front office, told them the situation. And the manager is like, okay, well, we'll call maintenance to come. They came real quick. Um, the guy tested the, um, he went to where the breaker is in the apartment. And he was flipping switches and stuff. And... It clicked back. I think that's is that the term? I have no idea. I don't know. Um, but it made this little clicking noise, and so the guy was like, "Yep, your compressor's out." We was like, "Compressor? We've been in this apartment for two years. We haven't had no problems. Um, well, going yeah, it's been two years. Two years in December, and we was like, what is really going on?" Like, why? So, hmm. I mean, this guy was like, okay, so we can get y'all. Worst case scenario, well, not worst case scenario. Only thing we can do is get y'all a wall unit, a window unit. We can get y'all a window unit and come Monday, Tuesday, we'll be here to fix it or replace the whole entire AC. Um, the guy told us that Hold on, y'all. I'm seeing some weird stuff on my burger. Did they put, like, ketchup on this drink? They put ketchup on it and tried to take it out or something. I think... At least I'm thinking they did because I seen some sauce on my wrapper. And I'm like, what the hell? I didn't want to do that. Anyway, so. That's what burger looks like. Oh my God, a fly. Mm -mm. Uh, so, he was like, we can get y'all a window unit. And Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, we'll come back and fix it. Um, oh my god, I'm dropping fries. The guy told us that we could, um, no, he told us that the unit is like 26 years old. I was like, what? 26 years? So, Saturday evening was interesting. He put the guy. He put the wall unit in and the lowest that it can go to is 62. So we've literally had the thing blasting since Saturday around three o'clock maybe. And so Saturday night was interesting. I was hot. Xavier was acting like he wasn't. So, it is what it is, y'all. But enough about that. Oh, lastly, they came and fixed it today. And today is Monday. So, so, Anywho, y'all, I had so much fun this past weekend. Like, we ate some really good food. Um, my favorite eatery for the weekend was definitely Hop Dottie. 
It was really good. And this right here, it's kind of hitting the spot. Like I said, I don't really go, I don't really come here that much. But. Yeah, I answer this question. Why do they only give you one thing of ranch? Like, come on now. But you know what? The reason they gave me one thing of ranch, I guess, is because I only got four nuggets. I could have asked for extra. But if we're being, <clears throat> Lord Jesus, if we're being honest, I'm not really a fan of their ranch. So, oh well. These nuggets are hidden now. I can appreciate that. So yeah, these nuggets are making me think like, about when um McDonald's had that whole thing where you could put nuggets on the burger. Would I have done that? No. <laughs> now, this is how you know strawberry lemonade is good. When it's like that ombre color. And the lower it get, the deeper into the cup it get, the deeper the red, strawberry, pink, whatever it get. Wendy's, if they don't get nothing else right, they usually get their strawberry lemonade right. They used to have some called a wild berry tea. Boy. That wild berry tea was hella good. I mean, it stayed hidden. Then it just got rid of it. But yeah, I wanna know something. If you're watching this video, and you're a picky eater just like me, and you like your burgers dry, let me know. I want to know. But I know a good amount of people actually like. have interesting requests regarding their burgers. But yeah, I gotta hurry up and get home. So that I can actually get some work done today. Yeah. I just vacuumed this car. This is why you don't eat in your car. This is exactly why you don't eat in your car. No matter how hard you try, at least one crumb is going to make it to the floor. I'm done with my burger, and this is how much fries I got left. So, something interesting about these fries. Their fries have been really crispy lately. And I like that. I love me a crispy fry. Mm. 
The real, the real. Mm. Yep, so. What's gonna be for dinner later? I have no idea. All I know is that. Excuse me, y'all. Strawberry lemonade is hitting. So, yeah. I'm just telling you. Chick fil A is actually across from me. So, I'm looking at all their traffic. I was looking at my fry, and that's why I fell. It's okay. Just go get you something to eat, sis. Or gent. Or brother. Whoever's watching this video. But yeah, y'all. I swear y'all, it's about to be time for a nap. And I have not gotten any work done today. Unfortunately. Mondays are always so slow for me. Like. And I know I'm not the only person that feels that way. Um. Mondays just kind of suck. This was all the fun that I had this weekend. I was not trying to come back to work. I hope y'all did not see all this pit that just came out of my mouth. But that's what happens when you're eating. All right. My food is gone. It is in my tummy right now. <sighs> it is sleepy time. Okay. When I say it's sleepy time, it's sleepy time. Because I was sleepy before I even. Sorry, y'all, I got a notification. I was sleeping before I left. Like, it was literally 12.45. And I had pretty much wasted my whole lunch break. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, oh my, is Xavier rather me think. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, um, what, y'all, I can't even talk. It's that itis, y'all. Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about when I say the itis is real right now. That itis will sneak up on you like while you about to take your last bites. And then the next thing you know, you are like passed out. Hopefully not on the flow. Hopefully in the bed or on the couch or something comfy. Cause I couldn't, I could not imagine having the itis and having to sleep on the ground. I just couldn't. And that makes me think, like, dang, my life is just good. Like by the grace of God, my life is. He's blessed me tremendously. He's blessed my husband and I and our little family that we have. Jeez, excuse me. But, so. And I have time to go home and brush these teeth. For real. But yeah, y'all. So, this was it. I mean, I think I might do some more mukbangs. 
I'm, I was kind of feeling weird about eating on camera. That's why I haven't really. I've always said that I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do my veins because I don't feel like that's me. But, baby. If eating on this camera will get me to cooling one day. Best believe your girl will probably do it. And you never know what you, you just never say never. That's gonna be the lesson learned from this mukbang. Never say never. You never know what you might like or what you might actually get into. You just gotta try. You just have to try. <laughs> Put your mind to it. All right, so this is the cookie. Wendy's has chocolate chip cookies. If I'm not mistaken, I think they have a double chocolate chip and a sugar cookie. Y'all, this cookie is good. This is how big the cookie is. Y'all, look at that. This is what I'm talking about. Mmm. 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 -mm. Mmm. Y'all. If I'm eating something and I don't make noises like that, that means it ain't good. It has to make me at least start mm, one time. Mm, I am so feeling that. That's a lesson learned for this mukbang. Never say never. Like I used to, I, I said in the past that I was never gonna bake. And I've gone through literally being a cookie decorator, being a cookie baker and decorator. Um, cakes, me and cakes. I can make a cake. I can decorate a cake. But to me, the process of cake making, it's um, very uh, stressful for me. <laughs> My nerves get, get, you know, a little high because to me, a cake is a very special part of an event. Um, whether you're celebrating an anniversary, a wedding, um, a promotion, a baby shower, um, a birthday, whatever it is, it's so special. And to have a cake that's jacked up, it literally can ruin things. And the memory of having a jacked up cake will not go away. Um, oh, I have now that I'm thinking of this stuff, I'm like, you know what? That'll be a good story time. Like, I and I sometimes think, dang, you don't kid, you don't really have stories. Bet it seems like the the older I get and the more days go by of this year, like I have stories that I can actually share with you guys. Um, another one is this car that I, that we, me and my husband have, uh, we have a 2022 Dodge Charger and the one before this one, oh my Lord, it gave us like lemonade. It gave us lemons. <laughs> and what does life, get? and what do you do when life gives you lemons? You're supposed to make lemonade. And we tried to make as much lemonade as we could with those lemons that was given to us. But we just could not, and it was just not, it wasn't for us. The lemonade stand was just not prosperous. And so we ended up with this vehicle. So I probably, I'm going to do a story time and let y'all know like how it was ripped and what happened with this particular dealership. Go ahead and end this because at this point I'm just rambling and there's no more food. Um, but I will, I don't know if I'm going to do, uh, well, I'm not going to do a mukbang later, but I don't know what's for dinner later and I probably will just chill. I'm going to go get some work done. Um, I got some new puzzles. Y'all, my mom is a puzzle fanatic. And when I say she has an entire collection of puzzles, like she has an entire collection. So I really should not purchase any more puzzles. I should just go to her house and go shop her puzzles anytime I want to do a puzzle. So I'm going to leave y'all with that. Today, I'm probably just going to go do this um, 
how many pieces is it i think it's a 300 no i think it's a 500 piece kellogg's fruit loops puzzle oh my god i'm so happy about that i'm gonna give that a go and yeah so i hope you guys really enjoyed this mukbang i know it's different for me and um the mukbangs will definitely get better as i decide if i want to continue doing them so for now i wish you guys a very 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 blessed day and i will see you guys in the next video peace